Project Bob was announced at IBM's Tech Exchange 2025. But what exactly is it? What does it do? How do you get your hands on it? Why is it called Bob? In this video, I will answer almost all of those questions along with some footage of Project Bob in action. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry, but I don't know why they named it Bob. That's, that's the one question I can't answer. On the surface, Project Bob might seem like a fancy coding assistant, but it's more of an AI development partner that's designed to work the same way that you do as you're modernizing legacy systems or building something entirely new. From what I've seen and read, the main goals of Bob are to transform the entire software development lifecycle to make quick quality code while also focusing on security and enterprise grade deployment flexibility. Bob lives inside your existing IDE that you know and love and allows you to chat directly with the code. So you're able to debug, ask questions, design and refactor all without leaving the screen or breaking the flow. It's kind of like that teammate who knows everything about your code base because he already understands your repository and relevant context. Bob also has a code review mode that understands developer intent flags issues, and even explains the reasoning behind it. So in addition to getting a recommended code fix, he's also going to educate you along the way. And just to add on to that, Bob will surface vulnerabilities and other security issues while you're coding. All right, let's dive into some of the footage from the announcement keynote at IBM Tech Exchange. Here we can see the English words being written out for what this developer wants to do. This particular code is what is going on behind the scenes for this website with a feed of various articles. The developer here is saying that they want to create a calendar widget so that the search bar can filter based on a date range. There's also this part here where he's saying that if no articles are found whenever you're doing a search, instead of doing what we're doing here today, which is kind of this generic default thing, let's instead make it say something funny on the screen. After clicking generate and waiting just a few moments, boom, Bob has generated the code. Now we're back on the website and we can see where the date widgets have been created. Those were not there before. And whenever we don't get back any kind of search results, it's now generated some kind of funny comment. Bob has this thing called Bob Findings that's running behind the scenes looking for refactoring opportunities, security vulnerabilities, security checks, and all that other good stuff that we really need to care about. So here we see where it's looked at this file and made suggestions for refactoring. Flipping over, it's also telling us that there is a security vulnerability in the code, why it's a problem, and how to fix it. There's an option to ask Bob to investigate and improve the code for you. And while it's running, it's also teaching you things that you should know about secure code development, things you shouldn't do, suggestions to make the code more enterprise scalable, and even more. And at the end here, Bob actually gives multiple suggestions for how to fix this in the code. The last one that I want to touch on here is an example of Java modernization. Bob has created this flow diagram for what this modernization would look like if we wanted to migrate this application from Java 17 to Java 21. Bob did a code analysis while creating this and looked for all kinds of dead code to remove. A really cool thing here is that this entire process only took three minutes and cost less than a dollar of compute. It was mentioned in the keynote that this is just a small portion of what Project Bob can do. Another example that was mentioned was doing modernization like taking traditional architecture and converting that to the cloud, containerizing it, making it into microservices, and so on. So what if you actually want to get your hands on Project Bob or even click through an interactive demo? I'm going to drop a link in the description that'll take you to the current website for Project Bob. And from there, you do have the ability to join a wait list. You can read more and you can also play around with an interactive demo. All right, there we have it. I was at IBM Tech Exchange this year. There were tons of exciting announcements, but honestly, this is the one that I was hearing the most about. Everyone who was there, everyone who went to the keynote was extremely excited. They wanted to join the wait list. They wanted to get into those labs where they could actually put their hands on the keyboard and experience it for themselves. But for those of you who are watching, I'm just curious, what do you think about the little sneak preview here that I've given you of Project Bob? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And while you're there, please feel free to like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff that helps my small nerdy channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time.